Hi Prabhu here today we will see about how to use shadow catcher in Maya 2017 using Arnold render engine it's really helpful to match any 3d object in real footage or real image stay tuned If you are new to this YouTube channel click red color subscribe button to subscribe this YouTube channel if you subscribe you never miss any updates of weekly 3 videos about Maya 2017 Arnold modeling texturing and lighting okay before we get into the actual project you need to download the reference image the reference image is available below the description box i will provide the link for you so please download the reference image So after you download you got this. So this one you need to download. We want to import this in Maya and then we use it. So after you download go to Maya and go to file and choose project window. I will choose my new project. So I will choose my location as D drive. You definitely want to set the project folder. So I will set as shadow catcher like this and click accept so after that copy your downloaded file and go to your destination folder in this case d drive so i will go my shadow catcher folder in source images i need to paste this one okay now open maya shadow catcher is really helpful to match any 3d object into real image or real footage okay go to create panel polygon primitives disable the interactive creation that means when we click on polyplane it will automatically create it in center of grid press r and scale bit like this i didn't want any divisions go to polyplane inputs and give subdivision with then height to 1 now go to create panel polygon primitives and click on poly sphere and press or little bit scale big in this case i will give 2.5 so it's enough and go to poly sphere inputs and give subdivision with then height to 40 because we doesn't smooth our object so we give highest poly division as 40 and 40 and go to front view and press w i want to move my poly sphere above the grid and also we need to change our object pivot exactly center of grid hold the d key and x key d plus x in keyboard and move your pivot in y so that means our pivot will be snap to our grid points you need to snap our pivot exactly in center of grid now go to perspective now we need to set our camera view it's really important click space bar that means you got four view ports here i need to set my camera view i will click and drag this one so that means you got only two view ports go to rendering and click on create cam it will automatically create it in center of grid press r and scale b when the camera selected go to panels perspective and choose camera one now you need to adjust your view like this so before you adjust you need to do something over here go to view camera settings and choose over scan view camera settings and choose resolution gate now we need to import our reference image for our background go to view image plane and choose import image so it automatically go to your destination folder in this case my d drive shadow catcher source images i will select our downloaded file so now when the reference image selected so it will when you select reference image it will indicate in yellow go to channel box and layer editor in image plane shape one you need to increase the scale x and y so i will select this both use middle mouse button and click and drag to cover this gap over here 
so now you need to adjust the viewport press 4 in keyboard so you need to adjust the viewport until your object and plane will be placed exactly in floor so you need to adjust like this so now it's look like it will place exactly in floor so see here I want to scale my object in the sphere selected I want to scale down like this so now our object will be look like it will exactly placed on this floor so now we need to start our lighting ok go to rendering and click on area light it will automatically created in center of grid press R and scale big and press E and rotate X to minus 90 and press W and move in Y so like this you need to keep your light above to our sphere now open your Arnold render view in default it will be render your perspective shape so I need to render my camera shape click on the here and choose camera shape one and select your area light and go to attributes and you will able to see area light shape one expand this Arnold tab and increase the exposure at least 10 so now you able to see our scene will be cast lighting now we need to apply some material for our object so select the sphere right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold the AI standard and rename our material as sphere underscore AI standard 1 and press enter so expand this diffuse so you need to choose your sphere color exactly to this box so that means click on this color and click on this picker so it's a color picker so if you select this one you need to click on this picker and choose this box color so that means our sphere will be cast exact this box color so now expand our speckler tab and increase little bit of speckler weight so in this case 0 0.05 like this ok now we need to achieve our main goal so our main goal is we need to hide our ground plane but not shadows but many of them use our uh, primary visibility to off so when the object selected you need to expand go to polyplane shape one and expand the render stat here we have one primary visibility so when you turn off this one our shadow will be gone so it's the wrong way so we need shadow but we need to hide our plane so turn off this turn on this primary visibility to on so select our object and here you need to expand this Arnold tab in polyplane shape one you need to scroll down find the Arnold tab expand the Arnold tab here you need to turn off this opaque it's really important so when you turn off this one so still it will shows our polyplane so we need to apply and shadow catcher for this plane when the plane selected you need to turn off this opaque and right click on our plane and choose assign new material choose Arnold, A Arnold AI shadow catcher AI shadow catcher so when you apply this one your polyplane will be gone black color so now here we have lot of option here you need to turn on this one so it's really important enable transparency so now you able to see our polyplane will be high but our shadow is still present and also you need to choose catch diffuse ok it's perfect but our object shadow will be casting too high see here when you compare other image the shadow density is too high when the area light selected go to Arnold tab here you have option to decrease the shadow density so I will decrease the shadow density to 0 0.8 it's enough 
okay now you able to see our shadow density is reduced so i will give 0 0.85 okay it's perfect but in bottom region we have lot of darkness in our object you need to set fill light to clear the darkness when the area light selected press w and press ctrl d to duplicate our area light i want to move down so this is our fill light we doesn't want any shadow for this one so in the duplicated object selected you need to turn off this cast shadow and press e and rotate in x minus 270 minus 270 and press enter and press w i want to move down so you need to keep the light below to your object like this okay but our intense object intense will too high go to attributes and reduce the exposure little bit so in this case i will give seven so i want to reduce even more 6.8 or 6.5 okay we perfectly set our bottom light but we need some environment so see here the ground is in wooden but our light will be cast in a white color so you need to change your color of your light so select our fill light and click on this color and click on the speaker you need to pick some ground color over here so in this case i will pick our bright wooden color over here okay now it looks great but i want to reduce little bit even more 6.3 so it's enough i think okay in front side we have some darkness to reduce that one select the fill light and press ctrl d to duplicate i want to move in this side and press e and rotate x to minus 360 and press w i want to move in y so and change your area light color to white click on this color and change your area light color to white and increase little bit of exposure so in this case i will do seven okay it's perfect i will select my ground fill light i will reduce little bit of exposure in this case six I will reduce even more 5.9 it's too high okay it's perfect so now you able to I will zoom in a little bit now you able to see it will cast light really from our scene looks like really it's casting light from the scene we will set three lights one thing for area light as pure white color the intense is too high another thing is fill light but you need to pick some ground color so this one is our another fill light in front side and choose and pure white color we have three area lights so finally we need to reduce noise from our shadow here you able to see it will casting lot of noise so select main area light so in this case it's an key light now you need to increase the samples in Arnold tab. I will give at least six samples, but it will takes little bit of render time, but it's okay. We need to clear this noise. Okay, when we increase our samples to six, it will reduce lot of our noise. Now it looks great. Now you able to understand how shadow catcher work in Maya 2017 using Arnold. It's really helpful to match any 3D object in real footage or real image if you like this video give thumbs up button if you have any suggestion about this video please comment below the comment box i hope you like it i see you on next project click subscribe button to subscribe our youtube channel we always need your support to create high quality content further so please subscribe click here to also watch the tutorial of all moya 2017 shortcut keys it's really helpful to foster your workflows.